the COVID-19 pandemic shows our collective vulnerability to disease. The next global pandemic could be a crop disease, which could put our food security at risk. The emergence of a devastating crop disease is becoming more likely as the climate changes. The John Innes Centre and the Sainsbury Laboratory are world-leading plant and microbial research institutes. They are uniquely positioned to lead the scientific advances needed to prepare and respond to emerging threats to global crops. For example, wheat blast, a fast-acting and devastating fungal disease that threatens our food supply, such as rice and wheat. Recently, wheat blast has spread from South America to two other continents with destructive consequences. Researchers at the Sainsbury Laboratory played a critical role in the identification of the pandemic wheat blast strains both in Bangladesh and Zambia and are using their expertise to help understand the spread and the evolution of this notorious fungus. Meanwhile, a group of researchers at the John Innes Centre are working to identify plants that are resistant to wheat blast by looking at a range of wheat varieties. Our science informs disease management strategies and the development of more disease resistant plants which protects our food supplies and our environment by reducing agrochemical input. Researchers at the Sainsbury Laboratory work with organisations such as the Two Blades Foundation, a charity that focuses on developing bioengineered crops for developing countries. The John Innes Centre is identifying blast resistant genes to counter newly emerging strains of the fungus and sharing this information with, with CIMIT, a non-profit international maize and wheat improvement centre to ensure their integration into the global breeding programme. This is just one example of how scientists at the John Innes Centre and the Sainsbury Laboratory are working to monitor and respond to plant diseases in a changing climate. Our vision for the future, healthy plants, healthy people, healthy planet, brings the world leading researchers of these two institutes in a hub to work more closely together with interdisciplinary researchers, industry and collaborators. Together we can help ensure we can feed a growing population in a changing climate.